Today I have a new carbon fiber tripod from Kent Faith that I have to test and review and I think I need a place where I can test its flexibility and the way it deals with vibration and if I'm thinking I think I know the perfect place for this test so let's go As you can see the first winter of the season is here and the best thing is that the snowfall is not that heavy and we don't have roadblocks so it's a perfect day to get out and do some landscape photography but today we are here to shoot in, in these cold waters, the waterfalls um, using this new carbon fiber tripod that I have it's not new to them, it's from Camp Faith and it's the model TC2534 and I have this tripod for a few weeks now and I work with it a little bit and I have to say I'm pretty happy with the quality of this tripod do a wide angle shot and then a telephoto shot the tripod has to be very good to handle vibration from water when we're gonna shoot using the telephoto lens uh, we will see if this thing handles now with the wide angle I will do a normal shot and then I will use the ND filter the test up ND filter and I will do a really long exposure again just to test how stable and sturdy this tripod is and after that we will also talk accessories Okay, so now let's talk about the tripod. The three shots that I've done, a wide shot, wide shot with a really long exposure of 100 seconds, and then using the telephoto lens, the 70 to 200 millimeter lens, F4, image stabilized on my 6D body. The tripod performed perfectly. It had no problem, the legs of the tripod were in water, so I think during that 100 second exposure, this tripod proved um, prove that it's it's really sturdy now let's talk about the things that I like about the tripod and then the minuses that I think, I think there are the big plus is that there is it's a really it's a really tall tripod but a really light one it's I mean this tripod it's it's really lightweight uh, my Manfrotto tripods are not that lightweight and I think where they've done a good job is the head of the tripod. The head of the tripod, it's, it's really lightweight and that is why this tripod, it's, it's so lightweight. Now, um, another thing that uh, I really like is this thing over here, this rubber band over here. Uh, other tripods don't have this because they add to the weight, but I think this is very useful because in cold conditions, if you're not wearing gloves, this thing is it's a it's a really good thing another good thing is that this tripod comes with a long column and also a short column so you may choose between them I like the short one these plates uh, the plates that attach the camera to the head uh, you can buy them separately uh, there are lots of tripods that don't sell these plates separately and why is this a good thing because 
when you are like me you are you are, i'm having two camera bodies plus the 70 to 200 millimeters i need to have three plates on those another plus let me see if i can show you is that the plate has this thing that you can grab it and rotate it many tripods you need a coin to stick it here and uh, screw it on your tripod which is a really bad thing if you ask me this tripod uh, it's it's really short when you are packing it so it will fit any luggage uh, it's it, and that is that is why i think is the perfect tripod for traveling it's much better than using my big man frodo uh, it also comes with this which comes in handy when you are hiking through forests uh, you place this on top of your of your tripod head and you don't risk losing any of these knobs on my tripod i lost one of these knobs twice overall i'm pretty impressed with it but i have to say some things the true test of a tripod it's the test of time so you need to wear this tripod for at least one year to 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 have it on all conditions on winter in really uh, really cold conditions really wet conditions and after at least one year uh, you can say something about a tripod now at, at, at the first sight this is a really nice tripod and especially that now has a really good price uh, it's about i think 165 dollars something like this i have an affiliate link in the description of the in the description of this video so if you click on that link and you decide to buy it i also get a little bit of money it's a way of you supporting me <laughs> and also if you buy it now it's cheaper than uh, usual now let's talk about the minuses let's also start with the plate if you're not careful you can unscrew it all the way and you can lose this screw over here so you need to be extra careful after that this thing over here wobbles in all direction it would have been nice to, to have a much more um to to not be so r really easily moved to one side to another because when you are screwing the camera and you leave it again you need to go take it take another screw so it's it's not a big minus you do this only one time and then you have your camera attached to it but i just mentioned it as a minus now um, I'm used to having quick release plates this is this is fine I guess uh, I don't know if this would freeze in cold conditions my quick release plates froze uh, last winter so <laughs> I don't know how this performs another thing would be that this is perfectly round in landscape photography you often need uh, to have a better grip so a, a shape that would be elongated in, into one side to really move it easily would be better these are the the only minuses that i can find on this tripod right now the the prices it's it's really good for a carbon fiber tripod it's really lightweight it's really small when you are packing it uh, it's really sturdy it can hold on my 60 with 70 to 200 millimeter lens on it and attached not on the 70 to 200 millimeter attached on the camera and you know what i'm talking about so um, on a scale from 1 to 10 i give this tripod an 8 to 9 and an extra point would come if after at least one year of usage this tripod would be uh would would work would work the same then it will have a 9 to 10. i hope you like this test and review of this uh of this tripod i really try to um, emphasize all the pluses and the minuses that i see in this tripod until this point again i have an affiliate link in the description if you decide to buy this tripod right now which is on sale and i think they have from what i talked to them they have distribution uh warehouses uh, all over the world so the tripod will arrive in no time another plus that i, I failed to mention is this that can help you attach uh, your backpack to this if you are in conditions where you can't leave the backpack on the ground another another great thing um so let me know what you think let me know if you also have this tripod and you use it for a longer period of time let me know what your experience with this tripod uh, is let me know uh, if you have questions 
and also uh, if you're new here please consider subscribing to this youtube channel and help this community grow and uh, until next time keep on photographing it's the only way that you can get better thanks for watching bye bye